Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to uh, all of you. So today uh, we're going to learn about uh, amplitude modulation transmission in chapter 4. So this chapter I will divide the content to three um, units. Alright, so the first unit we will cover uh, the first 15 slides. Uh, especially on the amplitude modulation fundamental so for this uh, chapter all right uh, we have three objectives to achieve first uh, at the end of the chapter you will know the parameters used for am transmitter and then the, to study the theory and calculation of am transmitter and as well as the envelopes the output of AM signal produced by various signals and first thing first I think for modulation we have learned and know about it in chapter uh, the in earlier chapter alright and I think as a recap maybe uh, I would like to uh, refresh your memory about the definition of modulation in earlier chapter the modulation means or defined by uh, definition that actually can um, what could it uh, combine or adding two signals which are the information signal and also carrier signal all right but for this chapter the real modulation definition is basically uh, given by this definition which is the modulation is the process of putting information signal onto a high frequency carrier for transmission all right and uh, that involve of changing one or more properties of analog carrier in proportion with the information signal so the changing properties mentioned in here it can be either amplitude right given on here frequency or phase all right so for the first uh, what modulation process that we're going to learn uh, we will use the property name amplitude that will change um, the what we call it when the modulation process is happening so this will be the modulation process block diagram all right which basically in order for modulation process to take place it need a, a component what we call as modulator where this modulator will add carrier signal and modulating signal as the input into the modulator and come out as modulated signal as the output so when we putting the modulating, modulating signal here into the carrier signal this will be happen in the modulator and this modulator basically need to have inside a transmitter so that the modulation process uh, can take place all right so uh, under here this is what we call as communication system we learn about this in first chapter whereby uh, this would be the uh, source all right and this would be the transmission all right this would be the transmission medium and this will be the reception or receiver and this will be the destination all right but in this chapter uh, we will say about we will uh, what we call it when talk about modulation process we want to emphasize where this process will be happen can take can be done in the communication system block diagram so the modulator basically is inside the transmission or what we call as transmitter and in modulator the modulation process uh, is done 
and then as the output of modulation process it will be transmitted through a um, antenna all right and then propagate through the uh, transmission medium either it's wired or wireless and then will be received by a receiver and in the receiver the inverse process will be done what we call as demodulator or demodulation process sorry okay so what are the type of modulation we have i think this also we have uh, uh, no in an earlier chapter in modulation process especially in analog system we have what we call as am fm and pm whereby this is the amplitude modulation frequency modulation and this is the uh, phase modulation whereby in the digital system the same process can uh, be done but with the different name so this would be also we use the amplitude term but for the uh, we don't uh, say it as modulation but the process is what we call as shift keying all right uh, and when we change the property of the signal based on the frequency we call as frequency shift keying and when we change the phase of the uh, signal we call it as phase shift keying so this will be the a uh, basic equation to represent um, a sine wave basic equation uh, to represent sine wave all right so based on this uh, basic equation you will learn how to understand uh, and how we can get the AM signal based on this equation. So amplitude modulation, basically we can, uh, the most um, common types that are used um, by, uh, I mean in most applications are these five, double sideband for carrier, double sideband suppressed carrier, single sideband, single sideband suppressed carrier, and vestigial sideband. For this chapter, we will learn more on this type of uh, amplitude uh, modulation type and this one will be in chapter 6 all right together with this one and this one also we will uh, we'll call it a touch not so detailed but I will explain in chapter 6 as well right so the principle of amplitude modulation back, uh, back to the definition that i have explained earlier all right it's actually a process of changing the amplitude of a carrier signal that proportionate with the modulation signal or information signal so as i as we learned before this in the earlier uh we i mean in the session um this uh, modulation all right we put the information signal onto the carrier signal it's just like when we want to go somewhere where especially far places how we would go to that place so we might need a transportation uh, such as car or bus or train or plane all right so the same concept will be used in this type of modulation explanation so uh, the the we maybe represent the uh, modulating signal all right the car or the transportation will be the carrier signal all right and the speed of the transportation all right would be maybe all right uh we'll call it the the, the amplitude of the modulation process okay so when we have this the output of the signal will produce what we call as a m envelope this is the output okay and we will see the shape of the modulated wave meaning that it has been gone it has gone through the modulation process based on the amplitude changes when the uh when we put the modulating signal onto the carrier signal 
Okay, so this will be the uh, or call it the process when we want to do to use or to make the modulating signal and put onto the carrier. All right, it will produce what we call as envelope. All right, this is what we call as envelope. The what we call it the high and low area. All right, uh, and and but on the uh, oscilloscope, basically, you will not see this dark uh, black line. This is will not show, will not be showing, all right, on oscilloscope monitor. What you will see on the oscilloscope is the inside part. Okay, I think maybe I, I, I can uh, show you uh, how we can have this kind of uh, signal later on. Okay, right. So, I know this light, whenever I show to my students, they will take a deep breath. Alright, because you will see a lot of equations here. And I know that most of students um, not really do well when we saw... Oh, or you see this uh, lot of equations on one slide. But I will basically explain uh, this, uh, what we call this slide, okay, in, in, in uh, one 